Let's bring in Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy now. Dr. Nandy, tell us how this pediatric dose compares to the adult dose. Right, the, the, the Pfizer's uh, kid size vaccine is a third of the dose, I've said this before, a third of the dose given to teens and adults. So they're getting 10 micrograms instead of 30. Now, even though the dose is lower, the vaccine is still excellent at protecting kids. So the Pfizer's clinical trial found that the vaccine is 90.7% effective against symptomatic disease. That's, that's terrific. And there are no serious side effects found, including the inflammatory heart condition. We talked about myocarditis. That's not to say, right, that myocarditis absolutely will not happen, but generally, this condition does not develop that often in younger age groups. No, but not all doctor's offices also will have these kid size doses this week. So here's what I suggest. Parents should call their pediatric pediatrician's office to find out when they can schedule an appointment to get the vaccine. And as we mentioned earlier, Doc, vaccine hesitancy among parents, a big hurdle. So what is your message to parents? So here in the U.S., you know, the COVID-19 is amongst the top 10 causes of death for kids five through 11, when I tell people that they're shocked uh, amongst the top 10 causes of deaths for kids five through 11. But it's also not surprising because the virus has mutated since it was first discovered. We've talked about this and now there's plenty of kids getting sick. Just last week, Brian, we had nearly 101,000 kids test positive for the virus. Hopefully the 28 million American children ages five through 11 will, will then be eligible to get the shots, including my two sons, my wife and I are planning to get them vaccinated right away to get them protected. Uh, and then I personally will be calling my pediatrician's office once the CDC says that my sons are eligible. So I, I'm waiting for their decision. I'm hoping that we can get them protected. All right, Dr. Nandy, good to see you. Grateful as always for your expertise. My pleasure, thank you. And if you have a coronavirus question for Dr. Nandy, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.